Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Kiv, your favorite degenerate, and <laughs> holy crap, 343, you've done it again. <laughs> I mean, like seriously, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? For those of you who haven't seen it yet, Halo Infinite's latest drop pod update came in last night. Uh, it came in with a couple of small bugs and some stuff that apparently is isn't fully working yet, but that's kind of normal for this game, so I'm not gonna focus on that. But something that people are really mad about, actually, is the prices on the store. I know it wasn't all too long ago that we were complaining about the store prices being too high, and they did drop them down, but over the past couple of weeks, the numbers have been slowly getting back up there, and now there is an item on the store, an armor set, which costs 1,700 credits, which is the equivalent of about, like, a little over 20 bucks for me as an Australian, and I know that the dollary dues that I have don't really count for as much, but god damn, that is bad, you know? The main problem that I have with this, and probably a lot of other people in the community, is that, number one, it doesn't feel like it's worth it. Number two, there's no way for anyone to earn that unless you pull out your credit card. Like, literally, there is no possibility of getting that even if you bought the Battle Pass. No matter how much you play this game, you will never be able to get this armor set because even with a thousand credits from that coming back through the Battle Pass, you still are 700 short. So that is dead wrong. I mean, I honestly just hate that idea. Understandably, because a lot of people on Twitter were really annoyed by this, Sketch, one of the community managers, came out and tried to explain why the price was this certain number. At first, he said that one of the things that affects the price is the rarity of the tiers. Now, if you just read that and you were a bit confused, yeah, I, I agree with you. That makes no sense because customization is a personal choice. You're going to buy something because you like the way it looks, and it's not fair for someone to charge more just because they classed it as a legendary. So Sketch came back once again and said, I admit, rarity is the wrong word to use, uh, and he apologizes for driving any confusion. He then went on to say that there is still some subjectivity involved, but not all content items have the same cost of production. Maybe my interpretation of that is wrong, but I read that as if it takes them longer to make it, they might charge more. And I still think that is incredibly wrong, because I'd say they'd be making a literal crap ton of money from the store. So a lot of people have turned around and now they've started to say, don't buy anything from the store this week. Don't fall into the trap. Don't give them the proof that this number is acceptable, because it's not, okay? Uh, as a community, that's what we're trying to do. As far as 343 is concerned, if you ask me, you have two choices. Door number one, reduce the prices in the store overall, otherwise the negative press and the community are going to work against you and any possibility of keeping this game alive throughout the wait for season three is going to go down the drain. Or, option number two is allow us to earn a small amount of credits for every game we complete. Not a huge amount, five, maybe ten credits for every multiplayer game that you complete. And this will allow the people who grind and play the game a lot to be able to still get those higher tiered items. I personally think that this would be a much better way to do things. That way you can keep the higher prices you want and still earn a good amount of money from the people who are happy to pay. And at the same time, the people who want to earn everything themselves can continue to work towards something. So I think that would be a great way to do it. 
but I'd love to hear what you all think in the comments section down below. I know that it was some bad news today everyone, but I hope that you did enjoy the video regardless. Let me know what you think, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. It's all part of the great journey, so join me. I've been Kiv, and I'll see you all on the next one.